Time to rumble in the tangle. Let's uh, let's see how this works. Yes, uh, Hellion occultist relationship is back to normal. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Okay, now we have to avoid the watchtower. We can't get the hero shrine if we get the lair, which is bumming me out. We already have a cultist fight here that we have to take. Tempted, though, just to go cultist fight here. Let's see what, let's see what people have to say about it. Yeah, let's get it. I like to get my cultist fights in early, get that dark, uh, that dark tribble available. The yips, a.k.a. the hips. The yips don't lie, mutant bread. The yips don't lie. Or at least they agree. That's pretty cool. And blind plus stealth is uh, is not a bad combo here. Double flesh bagpipe. Would have loved a crit for sure there. Oh, I didn't realize I was blinded. That was uh, perhaps an error. <laughs> the the unfortunate consolidation of the blind there, but resists across the board. Dang. All right. I see how it is. I see you, game. The fiend's strength dwindles. Ooh, bad turn order here for us. They uh they high rolled pretty pretty well. I honestly I prefer that over the alternative. Let's see. Given that we're already unblinded. I think a purge might oh purge is probably bad here. Well, it has its its pros and cons, I guess. Whoa, oh I forgot that they do that. They convert. That's gonna be that's gonna be rough for our early game. Taking this much stress early is bad. We we rolled terribly on our speed for this round, and uh, and it's coming back to haunt us a little bit. Please get a stress heal out of that. Thank you. 10 to 18? I don't think we're quite... I don't think we're quite there. <laughs> well, the one-off, that's a thing. Come on, game. Take it easy. Chill a bit, please. Gonna solemnity here, but Al is gonna be uh, Al is gonna be a cranky, cranky boy for a minute, unfortunately. Now, I can finish this off, but I think I have I have some opportunities to get some get some wins here, and I'm not worried about rush judgment at all. So let's see. This is 23% chance to crit. This is 18%. All right, let's. No, oh, well, I guess it's not going to be rush judgment anymore, is it? No, it is not. Man, fishing for crits like like it's going out of style and no no dice. All right. Well, I don't like where where Al ended up stress-wise. Uh, that sounds like a really cool idea, uh, mutant bread. Idle thought. 
is always so tempting, and on short fights, it's pretty darn good. I like that we got a mastery out of that. I'm not going to complain. The loathing festers. But, but Al needs... Al needs a little bit of stress relief. Ooh, can I snag it? Nice. Rummage through the shelves, laden with echoes of oh. ideas. Can't touch the can't touch the shiny. Boo. It doesn't matter where we go here. It's all the same. I guess we have a, a chunk of something to run over here, so let's do that. More healing solve. I like uh I like the consumables we're getting from the road. At least Al's critting like uh, like it's going out of style, so we got that going for us. Max roll here gets the kill. Would have been nice. No, I may just let him bleed out, if we're being honest. <laughs> we still have a lot of relationships to build, so I think Ounce is a good... A good idea. Baldwin can take it. I'm not mad. Not on my watch. I think we're just getting the kill here, so I'm just going to zero out the stress. Nice hit. The crits are doing a good job keeping, uh, keeping things under control here. Zero to one. We don't love that. Eh, I think we'll just we'll send that guy to the the shadow realm, and then these two are already BFFs. Uh, we could improve the relationship a little bit, but I think I will just give Al a little love here. Extinguished at last. Could be taking a repost for nothing. Eh, 33%. Let's roll the dice. It was that or he potentially hit us. Purge for the style points. Indeed, Tenebrae. Indeed. If we don't get the general trophy, I'm going to be tempted to come back again. Uh, let's see. Bouncer's belt. I think we can move this here and put the crit here for now. Ah, that doesn't make sense, though. That's a little, little questionable. I think this is just bad, so we're just going to get rid of it. Let's see. Don't think I need a singular bandage. Bouncer's belt shouldn't go there. Bouncer's belt should really go here. Minor sacrificial host was just there for saving storage space. But yeah, I think this it doesn't make sense to put the heart seeker on Al. Because Al is getting crit shrink crit tokens. Let's see, and then I'll just put Eh, I'll put that there for now.
I I think I think they need a wandering mini boss drifter. The one that uh, springs to mind is obviously the collector. Uh, I think that would be incredibly awesome. Let's see, you two, you can take the hit, but I have to be a little concerned after this hit. Yeah, the it's it's the f the foe eater. <laughs> Hard, hard to remember, to say the least. Let's see. Yank you forward. Yeah, I, I think the collector is, is on its way. 12 to 20 feels real nice. Not bad, Bodica. Not bad. Not to be outdone. Our, our Plague Doctor uh, does some work. So I'll, uh, I'll throw it out there again. If, uh, if anyone wants in on this team, at the moment uh, only, uh, only Constantine is, uh, is in here. But we put memories on almost everyone. So uh, there, is, there is the possibility. To say that could have hit for two. Yes, the antiquarian is a good is a good example. Yeah, drifter. I mean, I think it would be really cool. Like, I I don't want to uh, I don't want to say that it wouldn't. Like, the more variety, uh, the better. But but it is true that there is one, there is one like mini boss for each region at the moment. Like, it's the uh, it's the immolatist. For the for the sprawl, and it is the uh, it's Bullseye Bill or Bullseye Bartholomew, whatever whatever their name is, I always forget. For uh, for this region, let's see. Don't need to stress heal, so I guess we just put you on Death's Door. Ooh, the Abomination is a mini boss. I I I will admit, I would be sad. Because I think the Abomination is one of the characters that fits best into the style of Darkest Dungeon 2. Let's see. This guy's probably just already dead, so I'll fish for the crit. Like, I think the Abomination is a, a heavy on self-heals midliner that would go really well. Okay, Tenebrae. You got it. You got it. Hey, Mac. Welcome to the stream. You are a surgeon, Tenebrae. Ten I almost said Tenebra there. There we go. All right, another cultist fight. I also think it would be nice to see more stuns showing up in the game, and the Abomination's Chain Stun was always a nice, handy one. But... Like, I think we need more characters that fit well into... Let's see, what do I need to get rid of here? Uh, that fill, fit well into the archetype of shuffling, which which is another good one. Okay, now you've been struggling with relationships, so I think we take you almost no matter what. Yeah. Let's do this. Getting Getting those pips is really good. Ooh, regional bosses that you opt into. That's a very interesting idea. Haha, ha, we're all invisible. Get wrecked. Neener, neener. Oh, inversion, though, is not great. Because <laughs> all those blinds is going to turn into, uh, into other things. Let's see if we can pull this guy forward and just absolutely delete him. Get deleted. Ah, uh, that's actually, that's a cool idea, Tenebrae. I really like that. Let's see. I don't... Uh, I'm going to hang on to the fire grenade just because we will shortly be... Shortly be in a place where uh, it will be important to... To have some usable items to push back. Yeah, I mean, I think as soon as modding comes... Uh, the Bounty Hunter will become a permanent fixture. Someone will mod it in, and I will probably use that mod 
if I'm being honest, because I think that in its current form, I, I don't I don't find the bounty hunter particularly useful or interesting. Unfortunately. But yeah, someone someone will mod it in almost. That will probably be the first mod that uh, that comes to that comes to pass. Ten to eighteen, yeah. Go for it. We are not fast enough to avoid the crit token, though. Unfortunately. I mean, there would have to be other modding that would happen as well. Like, you know, it would be, it would be a, a, a multi-tiered mod, I presume. At least that's the way, if I were approaching it, you know, I would rebalance them as part of that process. But I, I do generally feel like that's what, uh, that's the, I would much rather play them that way because I think that while they are strong, I don't necessarily agree that they are, you know, strong to the point of being, uh, like, broken, overpowered if they were to be tweaked a little bit. Like, I, I think there's there's some pretty easy changes to some of their, like, you know, free stuns, etc. that would make them pretty easy to handle. Whoa! Look at that stress coming in. Dang. Nice, nice crit. We needed a bit of stress healing here. Hopefully we get it. Fish for more relationship. Yep. Yeah. That would be that would be the, the primary change, mutant bread, would be making it so that combo is required. I think they could also turn and gain on miss. We did get a dark tribble, so we could start playing with the uh, the increased damage trinket if we wanted to. Where do I want to put this, though? Do I want to put it on Bodica? Uh, the Empty Stein is pretty decent. I mean, we could just put it here, right? End of the fight will mostly be healing anyways, so I think it's probably fine. Peculiar Pods, I could also move around, I think. Like, they can go back here, and then that means our Smoke Bombs are going to be much more likely to land. I think Adrenalizing Ash I'm not that interested in, though. And two stacks of Flapjacks is too many. Azazel, welcome. Uh, nope. Yeah, sorry. I said welcome, but I meant goodbye. Have a great life. There we go. All right. Right hand turn. Here we go. Everybody doesn't want it. Ooh, creature den goodness. Dang. Uh, I would love to see the Arbalest mutant. That, to me, that is the, that is the one that the game needs the most of. Uh, because it would be, it would be a healer, and I think we we need a bit of a healer. Let's see. I'm gonna yank you forward because I don't want you front mortaring us. Not that front mortar is that spooky, but I would love to see the Houndmaster as well, for sure. 9 to 15. That, to that is not as much damage as I was hoping for. They could do Musketeer. That would feel... It would feel kind of fun to have a... Uh, to have the musketeer show up would be would be kind of a cool thing. Uh, I I don't think they're gonna do any like uh, any backer related things, so you know it would be fun for that to come back in for sure. 
Let's see. We're not going to be able to hit you here, are we? No, we're not. Nice crits, though. Can we get a little bit of stress healing back here? I would have taken a little bit of stress healing anywhere, to be honest. I don't really want to get the kill here. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. It's fine. The yeah, so the arbalist I think fit with the class identity of a healer a bit more. It didn't. It never made a lot of sense to me to have the musketeer doing heals. Like that was that was always a little weird for me. I, I mean, I can see from a story perspective how you could feel that way, Tenebrae. I think from a gameplay perspective, he just doesn't quite work for me. And, you know, everybody has their own... Everybody has their own two cents on that one. So I, you know, I, I appreciate that there is a diversity of, of thought on that one. Okay, Bodika, who is your best relationship? Okay, you're doing pretty well with everybody, so let's just, Oh. Wait, what the heck? Al wants to fight, but... Alright, I guess we do this one then. Do, do we still need a bit of relationship help? Yeah, we do. Alright, we'll do this one. Speed and, uh, speed and a strength token isn't bad. Hate that. Uh, that feels pretty good, though. Do we get there with this one? We don't quite. All right, let's just. Oh, the low blow. The slow suffering begins. A low, low blow. That early stun was a bit of a bummer. If I want to set up for the future, I go Chaotic Offering here. I think I do. Because that'll mean it's rolling when we get into the next phase here. 25 pointer from uh from you is something to behold. Get rid of that improved dodge cuz Al's going to have one in one ready to go. Good hit there too. But yeah, we need some more we need some more slot four characters also, I think. Like I think the Arbalist fits really well as a rank four character. Good job on that one, Al. You just ruined my whole plan. I think we need to keep you a little healthy. Er. 50-50 here. Could smell that one coming a mile away. Okay, so this doesn't work out great for us. The the sequencing here is a little off. We don't have a daze, do we? Does break come with a daze? No. I don't think we have a way to apply a daze. I'm going to get this rolling, but I think... I really don't want to get the kill here. I don't think... I don't think it's... We'd have to move forward one. Or we could toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
But then we don't have Intimidate available. Maybe that's okay. I just really... I wanted to get the heal on Al because I was nervous about going into the next fight. Distinguished at last. Not great, but I think it's it's as good as as we're gonna get. Okay, for this fight, for this part of the fight, I think we're it's not terrible. Uh, Fourteen from a poet leper is nothing to sneeze at. Even just getting rid of one is okay. Go for some stuns back here. Nice. Ooh, double stress heal. You don't see that every day. That was mostly just to get rid of the corpse. The crits are really uh, doing work for us here. We still have taunts up, so I think I am going to reset our order here, even though there's a bit of an opportunity cost there. I was going to say, if we got the kill with that, it would have not left the corpse, which would have been nice, but... Technology theme, steampunk? Uh, what's the, uh, in D&D, &D, what do they call it? It's the, uh, the artificer concept, or the artificer archetype, where you, like, you cobble things together. Seems like it could be really cool. Nine for three, I think we need to deal with that. This wound at least has been tended to. Now, unfortunately, we're fast approaching the point where we're going to do no damage with our Plague Doctor. Yep, we're at zero of zero. Fantastic. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. But yeah, it, it would it would be thematically it would be a little tricky for sure to make uh to make like a steampunk type character work. It doesn't really jive with with what exists so far. Uh, Paracelsus is completely worthless now, unfortunately. So we're kind of limping into the end of this fight. I don't think there's any way to take the heat off of our leper. They're just going to take a hit here. A big hit. Yeah. Al, why are you consistently stressing out more than, like, anyone else? It's very, very unfortunate. That's true, Ryan. I think that is, that is a good... That's a good way to phrase that. Like, the world seems to be a little behind steampunk-wise. Let's get rid of that so we're not dealing with a corpse-eating situation. Which I, I think you could do. I think that I think that's doable. Like I don't think artificers are necessarily like super high tech in the way that they work. I think I just finish it off even though our our leper is a little bit behind. Nice, we get the bonus mastery. Ooh, and we get the two mastery. So we just picked up three mastery. That's pretty clutch. But I don't even know if we have another fight before... 
Let's see. So smoke bombs are going to be good. Healing solve is going to be nice. And then we'll need these. Yeah, I think we get rid of the burn solve. We don't need a lot of clarifying pulses. And probably a calming incense can go away. All right, okay, we do have we do have a road fight to get a little bit of healing potentially, or it could be a shambler in which case it would be whatever the opposite of healing is. A little bit of dying. But yeah, I like I like this concept a lot. I am I am a big fan of uh of the idea, and I'm super excited because I think there's going to be a lot of amazing modding that happens when they roll out modding. Ah. If it isn't the implication. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, game. I wanted to howling end. Now I don't get to howling end. We're going to be taking a big hit here, I think, so. Yep. Yep, that's the way that happens. That's okay. <laughs> Holy water is really good for the exemplar fight, but we are we are a long way away from the exemplar fight, so I'm not not convinced that we're going to hang on to it until then. Alright. The general. We could get up we could get a reverberating redoubt. We could get a general's trophy. I think this is offering time. The offering shuffles have been staggeringly bad. I think we just get back into position. These guys are going to be less effective thanks to thanks to their position. Wasting power on this, but if we can get him down before he uh, he does his reposting, I think that's fine. The the order on these two guys to stay in the back has been uh, top notch. Ooh, double crit there, nice for the stress healing. But then I think I'm going to bring them forward. As much fun as it has been having them in the back doing their uh, their silly shambling thrusts. We'll just uh, we'll just withstand to to get that little bit of extra damage mitigation. Steady yourself.
I like that we're gonna get... We're gonna get another uh, Solemnity here. Very nice. We're looking pretty healthy now. We're looking pretty healthy. Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen the mashup where the drummer is in the three slot. That's crazy. Penance is good there. Hopefully Al can uh, put some work in here. Bad, bad option there, but. I think the weaken here is probably for the best because this guy's going to do the his big attack. his flashing blade. Oh wait, no, he, he has another attack, doesn't he? Doesn't he have, hold on, where are you? Hello? Let us take a closer look at the thing. No, I guess it is flashing blade is, is his big, his big attack. Okay, good enough, good enough. Uh, we have the weaken actually, so I guess we don't, we don't bother howling ending there. Wait, why Howling End when you can Howling End with your Plague Doctor? Nice hit, Tenebrae. Fish for crits. There we go. I had this odd feeling he was going to, uh, he was going to survive that death door. That one, I thought he was probably not going to survive. But we hit, we landed exactly at the halfway point, which was pretty good. How are our relationships? Good stuff. A reverberating redoubt, a clenching claw. Wrong, wrong trophy though. Clenching claw though, we can put on, we can put on our leper and that will give us, that will give us some control. All right, let's do a general fight. I did realize we didn't, uh, I didn't put play grenade on, which is a minor oopsie. We'll, we'll see how that, how that pans out. Um, I don't know. I don't, I like... I kind of like where the general is, to be honest. Like, I, I think that you need to do some preparation, but if you do some preparation and think about the fight critically, you can be you can do pretty pretty well against him.
Yeah, we're going... This is a pretty slow general fight so far. And the cr the lack of crits after all the critting we've done is kind of... Uh, kind of insane, but... Like, my kingdom for a crit here. Jeez. Yeah, we're going really slowly here. Now, having play grenade would be would have been good here, but... No dice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the lack of crits is insane, actually. Yep. The slowness of this fight is making it very dangerous for us. Oh my gosh. Can we... Can we not hit any, any less? This is actually kind of insane. I forgot we also have the uh, the bad trinket on the Plague Doctor, uh, which means that pretty soon things are going to get a little hairy. Oh my gosh, a crit, you say? Hang in. Hang in. Okay, we're landing crits at least. That's uh, some some small mercy. Like, we've had a very high crit damage team, which is what I'm saying here. All right. We also have the ability to use Intimidate to push back the tap root. Forty-eight is probably when we... No, I think we have to we have to wait one more turn. Let's use Intimidate to push back the taproot though. Let's get one more hit in before uh, everything evaporates here. This I think is the turn where we use Howling End. The weakest freaking Howling End I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't think Walking Dead. I think Walking Dead is scary enough without uh, without that little added wrinkle. Oh, the general rolls really high on the speed. That that right there. Jeez. We're gonna have a problem here very soon. Couldn't have been a stress heal. You're out of Solemnities, so we just finish, but... Jeez. The str I, like, the stress of that fight, if you don't have explosive damage, is pretty high. But yeah, that Plague Doctor was so weakened. I think we need to put Rockus on the board. And then...
That's probably going to be the play. I don't think we're going to have to keep a bouncer's belt. Get rid of those two. And then we used up a ton of combat items, so at least we get to replenish some of those. You'd like to be the occultist? You got it, Drifter. The occult has been dropping bombs on, uh, on unsuspecting enemies. All run. Let, let the go of that, and then... Compress kit isn't bad. I just don't think I can afford to carry it. Nor do we have a slot for it. Decisions, decisions. We have a bunch of cove relics, despite having never been to the cove. Raise an eyebrow to that. I think armor repair... Uh, calming incense, I think, needs to go, and armor repair kit, as much as I hate to let it go. Now, we need this fight to come ASAP. Road fight? Don't, uh, don't keep me waiting. Because people are about to freak out. Okay. I I love that all of our stress healers are going super late in the rotation right now. Um, A promising development. Okay, no crit there is good. Reverberating Redoubt, immediately paying dividends. Yeah. Let's just keep, keep doing work. Things are looking a lot better than they were before, to be sure. Give me that, give me those stress... Pips, yes. Excellent. Don't love getting crit there. Um, yeah, return crit feels pretty good, though. We picked up two stress from critting. I love that. We pick up two stress from getting crit, and then we crit back and we get zero out of it. Grumble, grumble. Now your, I just want to make sure, Raucous Revelry is still, oh, I didn't upgrade it, and it's 5 plus stress and you get 2 off, okay. We're way better off than we were before. It's looking less likely to, uh, to have a meltdown at the very least. Yeah, nobody wants to be the Hellion? <laughs> no no Hellions among the uh, the Faithful Watchers? The Faithful Watchers just reminds me of uh, Highlander. Anyone remember that show from like the, the early 90s? Let's see, what do we have for, for bad stuff here? Undeniably effective. Kleptomania has been annoying. Slow hand. Kind of want to lock in Precision Striker. Pyrophobia, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of Pyrophobia. And then Precision Striker is going to get locked in. Because that's pretty run defining. And then I'm going to pick up four Laudanum. Okay. There we go. Don't say that, Tenebrae. Don't say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so so Highlander. So the concept of Highlander was that there there's this bunch of immortals that hang... Like, the, the show is amazing, as a side note. Uh, Duncan MacLeod of the Clan MacLeod, born in the Highlands of Scotland over 400 years ago. 
uh, was a an absolute champion. And his uh, the basic concept was there were these watchers that watched over the immortals who were all trying to behead each other to become the final immortal. So let's yank you forward. Please come forward. Thank you. Close, but no cigar. But yeah, the movies were great, but the TV show, I I preferred the TV show, honestly. Uh, wow, I wish I had kept Raucous on my bar, bar, on my bar words. I'm gonna get rid of that with one of my actions. And I think we, we strip away all the remaining stuff. And then we already have taunts up, so it's just solemnity once. I feel like now is an okay time for it. If we end up one off killing this guy, I will. Uh, I will perhaps cry. Oh my gosh, the high roll on the speed, really. You're gonna collect all of the all the negative tokens. That's fine, actually. Wait, forced and okay. We can we can do this to get rid of the the taunt token. Al is really taking their time on this one. Thank you, game. These things are critting like it's going out of style. What do they have that I don't? If you have to ask, Bodica. If you have to ask. Oh, the... Gosh darn it. My plan was to secure the kill here uh, with with that strength token. Did not work out the way that I wanted it to. Let's yank the altar forward. Or not, or yes, okay. Capacity to heal our companions. Yeah, that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Get rid of the altar. I think that's our that's our best bet. And then these two will probably may juggle a little bit, which will be nice. Every hit is a crit, though. Holy smokes! Chance for two tokens there. Nice hit. Don't really need you taking hits and stress. Tenebrae? I know it's fun, but... Oh yeah. Get reverberating redoubted. It was a, it was a bit of a rocky region after we got past the, uh, we the after we got past the general, but brightly for all the world to see. 200 resist, 200 to all resists. On resist, you take damage, but you can't get hit. I don't know if I want that. I don't think that has a place on our team. And we're definitely going to have to throw some stuff away. Now, which one of these are we currently rocking? 
Eh, I think I like fire resist slightly more than blight resist if I had to pick one. But... Let's put that there to try and manage some stress. And... Just put that there. Alright. That gets us out of here. Bodica, don't do anything stupid in the next... Uh, you did something stupid in the next five leagues. <laughs> oh yeah, Tenebrae? That's your, uh... That's what you do? Oh! Nice! Pick up a songbook of touching dirges at the 11th hour. We're gonna have a bit of a hard time with stress here, but... The, uh... The relationships should flow quickly here. Peacemaker on Tenebrae is not bad. Fear of Gaunt I don't really care too much about. Nice. We pick up the candle, we pick up the mastery. Boom. Ooh, the mastery comes with a little care package. Nice. The Winking Thief. We also removed our disease. Let's see. Did we pick up any other food? Let's, let's do in items for a second here. We got. Do we got a feast in here? I need, I need a feast in my life. No. No feast. We'll take the dartboard for sure. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go. This needs to happen. Now, Songbook of Touching Dirges. Yeah, that's going to get it. That's going to secure us two relationships. So, even though there's a bit of stress that comes with it, that'll be good. Aspiration unites the hopeful. That puts us on the right path again. Now. Without the other. I don't care about Eagle Eye. I don't really want to lose Braggart, though. Um, hard Noggin, I don't really care about. Let's let's try and get that sorted. And then... Yeah, that worked out nicely. And then, do we have... What's our worst negative trait here? I mean, I'll try and get rid of Fear of Gaunt. Nah, the minus two stress, I think, is more important here. You're easy to get de-stressed. Yeah, as sad as it is, I think I'm just going to use that there. Should have looked where we're going. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary for No scouting practice? doesn't bother me too much. We'll go... We'll go here. I wouldn't mind taking on a librarian. Six Mastery is feeling pretty good. How... Oh, now you had... Are you slow enough right now? You are not slow enough when... Oh, our torch isn't going to be up. So yes, you are slow enough. That means everybody gets flapjacked. Hooray. I'll grab the playing cards. I'll grab that. I'll take the smoke bomb. Wind chime could have been an alternative as well there. Uh, oh yeah, and our trinkets are now basically free. Which ones of these are we going to use? Don't care for woven items. <sighs> Storage trunk is pretty bad now, so I think we'll let that go. I'm not going to do that. Hey, thank you for hanging out, Drifter. I'll try and keep you alive. No promises. Hmm, negative, negative relationship pip there. Unfortunate. Well, we got it back. All right, our stress is looking decent. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Now we're going to we're going to go into the sprawl. So I think Black Eye is gonna be our primary tank. Now let's see. Mastery upgrades. Toe to toe is a big one for us. Like getting demon pull going. Solemnity is a good one. Hey, Sir Farquad. The poet leper. Let me show you really quickly here. So the poet leper is plus fifty percent healing given, self healing skills. So solemnity hits for a ton, and then uh, fifty percent stun and fifty percent move resist. Pretty. It's. I think it's my favorite leper path personally. 
Now let's see. We could do to intimidate to remove that, but I think first we want to get Howling End upgraded. Because now we can actually occasionally clear things with it. What are we going to... I think we're probably going to end up putting Cause of Death on the board at some point, but... I like getting Chaotic Offering early on, and then the Leper... The thing about the Leper is there's just so few skills that I even care to take. I mean, Reflection is good for that extra bit of stress healing if we feel like Solemnity isn't doing it, but I think Solemnity is doing it. Let's, let's grab Intimidate. Are we going to have any stealth enemies in the next zone? Not really, no. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be very impactful. Extra healing can be good. Yeah, just uh, just let me know, uh, Wolf, what you want. We have one more character to name, so you have you have asked at the right time. Bodika, what uh what what are you interested in? Also, I I like your uh, I like your name. Clearly, uh, clearly a fan of the original Darkest Dungeon. Wolf was uh, was a absolute classic. All right. Well, while I'm waiting to hear uh, hear your thoughts on that one, let's get rockin' and or rollin'.